Praise the Lord today, saints, hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords, the almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, hallelujah, risen from the dead, seated at the Father's right hand, hallelujah, ever living to make intercession for the saints, hallelujah, praise God. Father, I pray that you seal this word to our heart, O God, and that it bring understanding, clarity, and recognition to the fact that you are the almighty God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, a question was brought up in the last video. I said Jesus was created in the womb of Mary by the Holy Ghost. Okay, and what, I guess I didn't clarify very much what I said, and so um, a brother kind of just picked that little part out of the video. The rest of the video, I guess, didn't matter. But that little part, boy, it's, it stabbed him. So I'm going to clarify exactly what I believe and what I know to be true from the Holy Scripture, okay? Because it's so important to know this. See, if you don't believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was a man, fully man, okay? I mean, he was a, a full-blown man, more than any man that's ever lived. Hallelujah, okay? Praise God. And... He was conceived in the womb of Mary, okay, by the Holy Spirit. His body was fashioned in her womb, okay? Now, in, in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, it says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, God's talking to, to the devil, okay, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay? Now, in Genesis chapter 38, we have the story of, of uh, Judah. Okay? And he went and took a, a wife of the Canaanites. And he had three sons by this Canaanite woman. And one son, Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord slew him. And Judah said unto Onan, his second son, he said, Go in unto thy brother's wife and marry her, and raise up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass, when he went in unto his brother's wife, that he spilled it on the ground. Now, I don't have to give you a description of what that means. He spilled the seed on the ground. Hallelujah. He spilled it on the ground lest that he should give seed to his brother. And the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. Okay? He wasted the seed. Okay? So, we know from this scripture here that the seed is in the man. Okay? And when the man comes into the woman, hallelujah, see? And she conceives. This is all a creation of God. God formed man. God, the, the Bible says in, in Genesis chapter 2 that God created man. And then it also says he formed man. Okay? So, all of life is a creation of God. Hallelujah. God is eternal life. He is uncreated. God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, before the foundation of the world, uncreated. Son of the Father. Hallelujah. But in, in the fullness of time... In the fullness of time, God sent forth his son, it says, born of a woman, hallelujah, of a virgin, Mary, okay? Now, it says, for by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. That's Adam, speaking of Adam. So by the obedience of one, okay, of one, speaking of Jesus Christ, one man shall many be made righteous. See, Jesus, the work that he did was as a man. He, he did it as a man. He was completely, totally, 100% obedient to the Father. He always said yes to the Father because of his great love for the Father. He was tempted in every way that we are, yet without sin. Therefore, he's able to succor us. Therefore, he knows what we're going through, and he can come and help us. But we must submit to him, and we must resist the devil, and watch the devil flee. 
We submit to God, resist the devil, and watch the devil flee. Jesus is ever living to make intercession for us. He came in the fullness of time. In the fullness of time, the Holy Ghost came and overshadowed Mary. Okay? And, con and Jesus Christ, and she conceived a son. Okay? The seed of the woman. So it, it, it wasn't that, that the Holy Spirit... Okay, said, come on, Jesus, get on my back, son, and I'm going to take you down and plant you in Mary. No, there was a there was a conception. The Holy Spirit and Jesus and the Father are one. So when this conception took place, at the moment of conception, see, at the moment of conception, Jesus left his glory. He left the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a mystery. It's it's a it's a wonderful mystery. And he was born of a woman. Hallelujah. He was conceived his body. Hallelujah. And I believe Jesus his soul. See Jesus had a soul. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. You know, I believe he had his soul for all of eternity. Okay? Hallelujah. See God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness." See, and then God breathed in man, and man became a living soul. Hallelujah. See? So man has a soul. Jesus had a soul. Hallelujah. But he needed a vessel. He needed a body. And that conception created a body for him to dwell in. A pure body. Holy body. Because the, the, the Father was the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Do you see what the truth is? See, it says in the Word of God, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, in the original Greek, it reads, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and God was the Word. Hallelujah. Verse 14 of, one, of John 1, 14. And the Word was made flesh, was made flesh. Okay? See, by God's creative power, hallelujah. See? See, only God can make life. Only God can make life. Hallelujah. And the Catholic Church teaches Mary was, was sinless. She was sinless in order to make a sinless body. That's not true. See? Now, the Bible teaches us in Luke that Elizabeth and Zechariah were blameless before God and righteous. See? Keeping the law. And so was Mary. Mary was a virgin. Mary was a little maid. She was probably 15 years old, maybe 16 years old. And the angel Gabriel came to her and said, Highly favored. He, he called her highly favored of God. Hallelujah. And she didn't know how this could be. How can I conceive? He said, The Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you. Hallelujah. It's, it's a beautiful, wonderful thing that God has done. Jesus was a full-blown man, more than any of us, because he was not tainted with sin. And he showed us how men are supposed to operate. And the first thing it is, is that man, hallelujah, is to be dependent upon God for life. To be dependent upon God for all that he needs. Every bit of breath, every bit of water, everything that he needs in the natural realm. Dependent upon the Lord, hallelujah. But many men today, they're prideful, they're arrogant, they're like Cain. Look what I did, look what I did, look what I did. See, God, see what I'm doing for you? That's what Cain did in the garden. Not in the garden, but after they were expelled from the garden. Cain did that. But Abel, what did Abel do? He said, look at your little lamb, God. And I know you require blood. He knew. And he said, look at your little lamb that you made. And he gave life, you see. Whereas Cain gave death. He, he just cut those plants and killed them and brought those to God. The work of his own hands. Jesus Christ was not was not born in an ordinary way, okay, like we were all born, okay. His Father is God, hallelujah, almighty God, and he is almighty God. It says so in the Word, where? Right here, in, in the book of Colossians, hallelujah. It says, oh, praise God, there it is, Colossians 2, 9. For in him, in Christ, dwelleth all the fullness of, of the Godhead bodily. Hallelujah. See? See, Jesus can contain it. We can't. That's why Jesus said, Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Now, 
in order to give you some more understanding let's go over to Isaiah now over here in Isaiah chapter 11 it says and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him hallelujah the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither reprove after the hearing of his ears but with righteousness shall he judge the poor oh hallelujah and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins. And faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, Jesus, he learned the fear of the Lord as a man. See, when he became a man, he was subject to every temptation that we have experienced. Every temptation. But he did not rely upon himself as a man. He looked to the Father. He knew what the Father wanted. See, he was totally dependent on the Father. And that's what he's called us to. And he's given us all the power and all the grace and all the strength to be just like him. Hallelujah. As he walked this earth. Does that mean we're sinless? Absolutely not. Because we have this old sin nature that's, that's in us. This old sin nature is in us. It doesn't mean we are sinning. Okay, you understand? But this old nature is dead now. See, we have to count it to be dead, dead indeed unto sin and alive unto righteousness. Hallelujah. See, we have the power by the grace of God and, and the faithfulness of our Savior unto his Father. He did the work. Hallelujah. And we have to remember this in this hour because it is all of Christ, all of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is God in the flesh. Very God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he is also a man. See, he is a man. He poured forth his soul, his life, his blood. See, the life is in the blood. And Jesus poured forth his soul, his life, to this world so that men could be changed, men could be born anew from heaven by his life, by his blood. Hallelujah. See? And by the Holy Ghost, and by the grace of the Father, hallelujah, the grace of God poured out. Oh, hallelujah. It's beautiful what God is doing. It's beautiful what he has done, and it's beautiful what he is doing. Hallelujah. So don't misunderstand when I say Jesus was created in the womb of Mary. I'm talking about his physical temple. Hallelujah. Which is holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. See, all the angels in heaven and the 24 elders bow down to the Lamb. They fall on their face before the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God and worship him who liveth forever and ever. Hallelujah. The one who was slain but is alive forevermore. Hallelujah. See, God told Abraham, I will keep this covenant, Abraham. He made a covenant with Abraham. And, and both parties, when they're making a covenant, have to walk through the through the sacrifice but Abraham didn't walk through the sacrifice God put him down in a deep deep sleep hallelujah and God walked through the sacrifice and said I will die to keep this covenant and he did die hallelujah see he was one with humanity hallelujah and now we have the God man hallelujah the Lord Jesus Christ fully God hallelujah and fully man risen from the dead seated at the right hand of the Father and coming again in glory to judge the quick and the dead those who are alive those who are born anew and those who are dead continuing in their sin those who refuse to be born again by the blood of Jesus those who refuse to accept the free gift of God hallelujah hallelujah for eternal life. I bet you wouldn't refuse a gift if somebody came and gave you a brand new car. I bet you wouldn't refuse it if someone gave you a brand new house. You would accept that. Something that's going to burn up. Something that's going to die. Something that's already dead. But when God comes to you and says, I got life for you. Here's life. My son. Many of you say no to the son. No. I don't need Jesus. I'm my own God. 
But you are liars. You're in lies and deception. And the devil has you by the tail. And he's wagging you wherever he wants to. And the Lord says you got to repent in this hour. Repent today. And believe the gospel. The truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. That he has done the work. He made the way. Hallelujah. Jesus just busted right through all the devil's camp. Hallelujah. He came down here and bound up the devil. Hallelujah. The strong man bound him up. Hallelujah. By his humility. By being dependent upon the Father. And that's how we do it. Hallelujah as well. We be dependent on the Father. We walk in humility before God and before men. Hallelujah. We have the victory over the devil. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us we have overcome the wicked one. We have overcome the wicked one. And we have to count it to be so and walk in it by faith. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, by the blood of the Lamb, Lord, seal this word. Seal it, Lord, and call. Call all those, Lord, that you're calling. Bring them in, Father. Bring them in to the Son, Lord. Bring them in, Father. Jesus, you said all whom the Father gives to you, you will lose none. Hallelujah. Oh, wake them up, Lord, and bring them in. Let them know that you are the mighty God, the almighty God, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. One with the Father and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. A body was formed and prepared and fashioned for you in the womb of Mary by your mighty power. Hallelujah. For you are the creator of all things, Lord Jesus. You created all things. Hallelujah. For your pleasure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise your holy name. You are the mighty God. We worship you today. We thank you, Lord. Seal this word, Lord. Seal it right now. Let your word go forth, O oh God, and just cut off the head of the wicked today, Lord, those wicked, vile spirits that will try to keep your people from seeing the truth and keep those you're calling from coming into the sun. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen.